Beverly's preschool did a science experiment. Drop a pear into water and watch it sink. Drop an apple into water and watch it float. The question is why, and they didn't really have any answers for that. My first theory is that there was more air trapped in the core of the apple than in the core of the pear. So I cut off a slice of both and repeated the experiment. Oh, no change. So much for that theory. The next theory is that there's more air in the apple's flesh than in the pear's flesh. To test this, I built a vacuum chamber. The pump is from a refrigerator that was being thrown out. The rubber gasket is a dog's toy. And there's about $10 worth of hardware I had to buy. Safety glasses on. I'm not really a fan of flying glass shards. And we'll rub a couple of drops of detergent onto both the pear and the apple, just so we can see the air coming out better. Pump on, and we immediately start pulling a vacuum. There is no question that the apple is generating far more bubbles than the pear. So there we have it. The reason that a pear sinks and an apple floats is that an apple has got a lot more air inside it. Let me know in the YouTube comments what else you'd like me to put in the vacuum chamber.